most important thing for an American citizen to do is to do what? And that's to vote. Results for the city primary election are coming in. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Polls closed at 8 o'clock tonight. One thing on the ballot uh, that a lot of people were watching, three at-large city council seats. Six out of the eight candidates will move on to the general election on May 2nd. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Kelsey Murphy has been tracking the results all day, and she joins us with more. Kelsey? Rod Megan, the Lancaster County Election Commissioner, has released the final numbers. 100% of the precincts counted. Here's where we stand. The candidates fighting for the three at-large seats who are moving on include incumbents Larry and Gaylord Baird with 19% and Roy Christensen with 16. Tom Nesbitt also has 16 and Braden McLaughlin at 14. Also moving on, Bernie Schaub with 14% and Maggie May Squires with 10. Candidates Lou Bratz with the third with six and Deb Andrews with five. They will not appear on the general election ballot. And I've been tracking the elections all day. Dave Shively with the Lancaster County Elections Office says voter turnout for primaries without a mayoral candidate is typically low, about 15 to 20 percent of registered voters. He stresses that city elections are just as important as national elections. He hopes for a big turnout in May. Local races uh, probably have as much effect on our lives personally as national elections do because you're dealing with your schools, you're dealing with your roads, you're dealing with your parks, libraries. Uh, everything that affects you on a daily basis, things that you see every day. So I think it's important that you, you know, vote both in the primary and the general. 18% of registered voters turned out to vote today. The general election is on May 2nd. Absentee ballots will be mailed on April 17th. And if you haven't registered, you can do so online. That needs to be completed by April 14th. Or if you want to go to the election office, you need to do that by April 21st.